Oh, what's your name? I don't want to tell you my name at the precise moment. Okay. Um. Grew up on a, on a council estate and things is, you know what I mean, things is hard. Yeah. Things is hard, but you get through it, mate, you know what I mean? We, we, we all, you all roll together, mate, you all eat out the same pot. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It is. It's like you eat out the same pot, innit? If one's got one, one's got me, all's got yeah. one of them, mate. So we grew up and grew, we had, we had let's say, a hard time, mate. It was a good time. Yeah. But, do you know what I mean? It was a good time. Did you go to school? Yeah, I went to school. Did you get your GCSEs? Got GCSEs and that, mate. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the GCSEs <is> in, <laughs> in such, mate. No, I, I got expelled out of my school. I got expelled for um, just just fighting, kicking off to all the you know what I mean. Yeah. School dugger, school dugger, what? Yeah. What? Go on. <laughs> school dugger. So after school, what did you do? What did I do? Uh, did you work? No, got into the drugs. Mm. Got into drugs. Got into selling drugs. How did you get into? Those? Got into selling drugs yeah. because fast money, yeah. fast money. I want a car. Do you know what I mean? I want a nice car, I want loads of dough, do you know what I mean, at the time. And you live the high life, don't you, for yeah. a bit. And, yeah, money came, comes and goes, comes and goes, and it, it came in, it went, it came, it went, it came in and out one pocket, out the other side, do you know what I mean? Big night, you know what I mean? Weekend spenders. Do you know what I mean? Weekend millionaire. It was, mate. And you can sell all sorts you want, and whoever, whoever says to you, mate, yeah, they're all selling, mate, and they're earning fat. No, they're not. The weekend millionaires. Like we've all been, though, mate, and it, it, everyone's been a, a weekend millionaire. <laughs> and it comes and goes, mate. But do you know what I mean, it's not easy come, easy goes because you, you, you're putting your neck, you're putting your neck on the line, aren't you? So it's not easy come, easy go. So and then I started moving up, moving up, mate, myself, and that, and I got into a, got into a, off off a friend. A friend put me onto another friend, off another friend, and we got we got into got got into um, the the, um, the, the, ever, the powders. Yeah, we got into the powders. What age did you start selling drugs? Um, it was like, I was 16. 16? Yeah, yeah, That's 16. Pretty young. pretty young, man, pretty young, mate. But when you see when you see money coming that fast, you know, when you can see it come fast, mate, you can just, you, can, you know what I mean? You sell one one item, two, three items and that, yeah. man, and you, you got 40, 50 quid or something. You, and you're in it, you're in it, mate. And yeah. once you're in it, you're in it. Yeah. And, and you've got to be in it to win it. Basically, you've got to be in it to win it, Did you and that's my motto. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I had to earn though, because what, what am I going to do? So I ask, asking my mum for though. <laughs> asking my mum, have you got, have you got any money? No, it's not happening. It's not that kind of party, bro. By this time, it's not that kind of party, mate. You're involved in the powders. You're involved, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So I thought, right, boom, I'm in. And I got, I got a phone call, mate. Do you want to go to fucking away and that, mate? There, uh, bring, bring a fucking nice bit back and that. All fair to do is, mate, do you know what I mean? Yeah, in for the penny, in for the pound, mate, yeah? I'm on my back, mate. I'm on my ass, yeah? So obviously I'm in, yeah? So I've got one of my friends, and we're over there, mate, yeah? We're in London, yeah, yeah? with the boys, yeah? <laughs> yeah? We're having it, mate, and we're going over, mate, but we're going to South America, yeah? From London, mate, going to South America. I don't even know where South America is. <laughs> bro, all I know, I'm going, bro. Going. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So we're going, made up, bro. You made up your mind you were going. Someone made up your mind, we're going. Do you know what I mean? It is what it is. We're going out. There was nothing like that, mate. It was like, pfft, I'm having it. Do you know what I mean? And you're not in, in, involved and you're not in the zone. You think everything's sweet. Do you know what I mean? And you just, you, you've just been washed, mate. You've just been brainwashed, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've just been head, head fucked, mate. Basically, head fucked. <laughs> Did you ask <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like... Nah, man, you didn't ask. You didn't. I know, I knew, I knew who it was. It friend from a friend and all that, mate. We spent a couple of days here, a couple of days there, and all that, mate. Ended up in London, mm. in the John Lennon Airport, mate. Boom, and we're off. Yeah? We're going. Um, and we're going from London, we're going to France. Yeah? yeah? And then we're made from France, mate, going to... Because we didn't have... There, there was no straight fucking flight. Do you know what I mean? So, we're, boom, we're there, mate. And we're off, yeah. So that's how it started. That's just how it started, bro. And Holland, nah, because we went from Finger to to Holland, and then we had to get another plane. Do you know what I mean? We had to get another plane then from from um, Holland. We had to get another plane then. Was you nervous? Going yeah, I was nervous, mate. I was nervous. Trust me. But 
thought, oh, fuck it, mate. I've got a load of beak up my nose. Do you know what I mean? I've got a load of fucking beak up my nose and that, mate. I'm, I'm having it, mate. We're in the pubs, we're in the little bars and that in there and that, mate. Do you know what I mean? Every, every time we fucking come off the plane, we're like, do you know what I mean? We came off of what the plane once and every time we see the little bar, boom, we're in. Boom, we're having it. Do you know what I mean? Me and my me, mate, we're having it, mate. Where are we, we going here now, mate? Do you know what I mean? We're going to South America, mate. Where the fuck South America? Do you know what I mean? But we're then bum, we're on it, mate, we're having it. 13 hours, mate, was on the plane. Yeah, we got there and dripping wet. I was dripping wet, mate. I mean, you did and all that, mate. Pair of jeans on a dripping wet. Yeah? My guys, family and all that, mate. Boom. Manchester. Manchester. Yes, do you know what I'm saying, mate? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, lad, yeah. Buzzing, mate. Yeah, and I'm having it, bro. Definitely having it, mate, now. I'm over here now, mate. Yeah? Got there. See my boy, yeah? See my boy's dad and all that, mate, yeah? Colombian, Colombian cartel. Powerhead, mate, power case, mate. I'm looking at, I, I'm stood there, me and my mate, yeah, looking at this, what, uh, in this Arndale centre where we met him and that, yeah? yeah. Right? Because th these people have took us from the airport and that, mate, boom, straight to him and all that, mate. They've got off and all that, sweet and that, yeah? Sound, man. These are heavy people, yeah? Sound heavy, mate. Heavy members, brother. Not messing around, yeah? I'm looking in a, in a watch case, sale uh, like, at yeah, you know, like a big cabinet, mate, like in this, in this um, Arndale. I'm looking at him like that, mate. KK this. Any of them now. And looking at him, 150 grand's in that, mate. <laughs> and he went, any of them now if you want. A pair of yours. He went, that, that's a watch like that, mate. And showed me the watch like that. I had a sick fucking diamond in me. And he went, that's a watch, man. Like that, mate. He went, yeah, no pasa nada. But it was still $150,000. <laughs> These watches and that, mate. What I'm looking at, mate, in this fucking thing, mate. You know, in the Arndale Centre. <laughs> you know, like these jewellers. How old was you then? Me, I was 24, bro. 24? 24. So you're kind of vulnerable. Not vulnerable, man. Never vulnerable, mate. Do you know what I mean, mate? A loose cannon, bro. A loose cannon. That's what I was. There's a light there, mate. Fuego, four, four, four. Have you got that? Loose cannon. Yeah, so it's a loose cannon, bro. Mm. Mm. So you was not vulnerable. So the guy's gone like that, mate. Bit one, mate. Nah, 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 nah. So it shits it, bro. Shits it. Otherwise, I would have said, let's have that, mate. Now, 80 grander. Yeah, and he would have bought it anyway. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Straight away. Would have bought it. Because he knows I'm in there, me. I'm over there, bro. Just come over there. I've got, you know what I mean? I'm no gangster, no nothing, mate. I've just come over there now. He knows I'm in, yeah. bro. I'm in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm in, me, me, nah, nah. So he's just, boom, took me, mate, to these, to these, these guys and that's everywhere. Took me to these guys and all that, man. Pure of them all stood there with straps and that. We've gone to the mountains and that. All stood there with straps, everything, mate. Yeah, gone to the mountains and that, mate, and jeeps and that, mate. He, he met his men and all that, mate, there. He, he met the car park at the Arndale Centre. You know what I mean? In jeeps and that. Got in the jeeps and that, mate. Where off us? Yeah? In the mountains and that, mate. They went, yeah, sweet and all that, mate. Yeah, they went, sweet, mate. Boom. Next day, so some kid, mate, and that, his daughter and that, her boyfriend come and got us and all that, mate. He'd take us out every day and that, mate, with his daughter and that. Do you know what I mean? Figure out. Downtown, mate, and that, the first night, mate. Boom. These guys have all pulled up, mate, in a minibus, mate, yeah? yeah. Pure Colombian birds with them and all that, mate, yeah. Like that, mate, he went, but we're out tonight and all that, yeah. Sweet, mate, yeah. Boom, we're going downtown, mate, in Lima, yeah. Kayao, bro. Dirt puffs, mate. Sick discotheque going down, bro, yeah. <coughs> nah. In Peru, bro. In Peru. Yeah. In South America, mate, Kayao, bro. On the street, mate, yeah. Sick discotheque going down, mate, like that, mate. Sick Q, mate, and all they done, mate, is that, man. You sick Colombian mafia, mate, just done that like that, mate. The door's open and the back door, mate, walked in. I thought I was fucking the king, bro. thought I was the king, mate. Pure Colombian birds with us, mate. Pure Colombian totter with us, bro. Yeah, mate, I've got a sick wad of cash, mate. Pure flake, mate. I thought I was the dog's bollocks, brother. I'm telling you now, I thought I was the dog's. You know that, innit, mate, and that. You think there was a dog's, and anyone who says they wouldn't think there was a dog's, mate, they're fucking chatting out the backside now. <laughs> Right away, brother. Right away. I'm in, mate, and I'm fucking brainwashed, bro. Brainwashed, mate. Yeah. Brainwashed like anyone, mate. And if anyone says to me, mate, that they wouldn't have been brainwashed, they're brainwashed, brother. When you've got ten Colombian birds stood round you like that, mate, and you're walking in a nightclub, mate, with these guys and all that, mate, yeah, pocket full of dough, pocket full of flake, mate, yeah, ten Colombian birds or whatever, mate, and the smoke dry rising up as you dry, as you're walking in, mate, out the floor, bro. Wow. Some sick disco tech, mate, and it's on, bro, it's on. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm at the bar, these jokes flowing, mate, Colombian fire water, this yeah. and that, mate, it's on, bro, it's on. <laughs> as if it's always, it's always, it's always like, yeah. You know what I mean? You come, 
do this, it's always done before, and yeah, it's easy, you get through. Uh, and all that, do you know what I mean? You know, you know, they give you this bugle and the, the brainwasher, don't they? Do you know what I mean? The brainwasher. But we went for it. Did you know about the danger? I knew about the danger, but it was just... It, the people have said, like, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's all sweet and that. We've got people here, people there, and, do you know what I mean? People are coming back now as we speak and all that, so... That, we've gone to meet this guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Meet the boss. Boss yeah. and show me. Enzo. Colombian guy, man, do you know what I mean? Colombian guy, man, yeah. um, from the Medellin. Yeah. Medellin cartel. The cartel. The cartel, man, the cartel. But, uh, 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 you know what I mean? I've heard about him and that. I've heard, like, obviously, the dangerous, dangerous people, the dangerous people in the world, yeah. that. So, I've heard about it and that. And, um, so, all right. Do you know what I mean? We've come over there, mate. I've got no, I've got no, I've just, I've got loads of big dough on me and all that, mate. And like, I'm going to get robbed or killed or I'm just thinking, I've, why are they going to kill me? Yeah, do you know what I mean? I've got nothing to offer. I'm coming yeah. to, I'm coming to work with these now. Yeah. To bring some swag back and shit like that, mate. So they, they, they've got, they've got, they've got best interest on me. Yeah. Basically, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? It was like, so I felt comfy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Comfy with them all. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We've gone straight up to the mountains and all that, mate. Boom, because it was big, nice, what is the cash and all that, mate. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah, yeah, give us, like, what's the cash over there to, 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 to spend to 10 days because it was over there. Yeah. Got us, yeah, got us a nice fucking um, villa and all that, mate, there, yeah. Jacuzzi and that, mate, do you know what I mean? Nightclubs and all that, living, chilling, just chilling, do you know what I mean? Buzzing. But and now you're roped in, man. Do you know what I mean? You see all this, you're roped in. Yeah. You know what I mean? So whoever, whoever says to me, you wouldn't be roped in. Do you know what I mean? The Columbian trotty all around you, mate, at the lot, man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you're buzzing. You've got a pocket full of cash, mate, and, 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 and you're in it. Do you know what I mean? You're in the game, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you can call it a game. Do you know what I mean, mate? You but love your lifestyle. Yeah, nice, man. Do you know what I mean? It, it, ten days, man, buzzing was all over the place. Here, there, everywhere, mate. Do you know what I mean? Here, there, everywhere. Yeah, like you do, and loving it, loving it, man. Yeah. Like the last last day in that, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like the first night we got there, yeah, I was a bit like mm, weary and all that, mate. But he wouldn't be. Do you know what I mean? I'm I, I'm in South America here right now. Do you know what I mean, mate? I'm in South America here right now, and I'm and I'm not with, I'm not with dickheads yeah. or anything like that, mate. I don't know the guys, madam. Do you know what I mean? Don't know him. Don't know him at all. Do you speak do you know their language? Mean? No, I didn't speak their language at all. Not one, not nothing <laughs> of their language. Do you know what I mean? But the guy, he, he met us and all that. He was English and that, mate. He, he, could, he, he could speak, you know, he could speak English. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He studied English over there and he could speak yeah. English. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And, and this guy was going over to see, man. He, he had ten daughters, yeah? Right? Oh. Yeah, ten daughters, mate. Yeah, this, this, this cartel guy, mate, yeah? This Colombian guy. Ten daughters, mate, and he's be beautiful. They're all like models, bro, yeah? And they live Argentina, Brazil, yeah? yeah? Argentina, Brazil, yeah. Colombia, wow. Mexico, yeah? And they're all around them. Guess what they do? What? Yeah? They bring boyfriends in and they work for the family automatically, bro. They work for their dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Because when I got arrested and all that, mate, yeah, it, it, um, the guy was taking us around and all that, mate, he got arrested, man. It, um, his daughter's girl, uh, boyfriend. One of his daughter's youngest his boyfriend. Because he, he was in, in, in full on, mate. You know what I mean, we got followed around Peru and all that, man. I, I could walk him around Peru, it looked like I've got a telly or a sign on my head, mate, yeah? The only jingsy guy, guy ever in Peru at the time, probably, bro. Yeah. So everyone's looking at me like I've got a sign on my head saying, I'm here for coke. <laughs> Basically, bro, do you know what I mean? Just go with that. Hey, uh, really though, that's how it was, do you know what I mean? It, it was like that, mate. So, how did you get, how did you get arrested? So, when, when we got there and all that, mate, yeah, the boom, do you know what I mean, mate? How did you pack the stuff? Nah, the, 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 the guys have packed it and all that, man, do you know what I mean? In the, the, the uh, secret compartment of this suitcase. Yeah, we knew, man, what was bringing back, man. We're bringing, do you know what I mean? We're bringing, we're bringing kegs back, bro. Um, how much? Kegs of flake, bro. It doesn't matter, mate, how much, much, mate, but I'm telling you now, mate, kegs are flake. So, do you know what I mean? It want, want just one keg, want just two keg, want just three keg, want just four keg. Do you know what I mean? So, and... 36 ounces in one keg. That's a key. Oh. Yeah. So, it, it, do you know what I mean? That's, that, that, that's, that's how it went down, bro. And I, I loved it, man. Do you know what I mean? Walking in clubs, mate, with, like... Five or six Colombian birds. 
Do you know what I mean? All that, eh, uh, England's there, or soaking your head and all that, man. You know what I mean? Pocket full of cash. Big sick cue, but you're going straight in the fucking side door like that, mate, when the club bins do that. Look, the door's open for you and all that, with these birds and that, and you're just walking in, there's smoke coming up through the floor, the dance floor, bro. And it's heavy. Do you know what I mean? And you know it's fucking sick, mate. Best time, man. Do you know what I mean? You had some mint time over there. But that was all pan and part, pan and part. You know what I mean? It was all like the, 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 the thing, mate, to rope you in, bro. Rope you in. Do you so know the, what I mean? The last day. You, so, you know what I mean? That though, spent though. You know what I mean? One of them. So how did you end up? You end up, man. Went to the airport, mate, and we had, we had nine kilo. You know what I mean? Kegs of flake, mate. Kegs of swag. We had on us. Take the swag, mate. Peruvian flake. Peruvian flake, bro. Yeah? 95, 96% flake, bro. Paste. Paste. Paste, bro. You know what I mean? At the time over there, mate, it's 11 ton. 11 ton on the keg over there. You know, at the time over there, it was 50 keg. It was 50. 50 quids, mate, it was, for the box over there. When I in 2011, for a box of flake over there it was 50 quid. I'm telling you now, and that was that was nothing like 98, 95, 96 percent flake. So you know what I mean, I could have danced on one of them twice, one of them kegs for 11 ton. You know what I mean? It was we was packed up, loaded up, mate, ready to go at the airport, sweating, dripping, dripping, just done a sick line about that big, mate, about the same size as me head <laughs> in length, bro. Do you know what I mean? So it's on, I'm at the airport with swag. I need a I need a livener now. Before I go in this in nice before I go in this taxi from the mountains, I need a livener. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, bro? Yeah, of course, you need a live in a minute, bro. And a smile live in it, mate, was a big boy, mate. About the same size as my head, bro. Six slug line, mate, a flake. Bang! It was down for that, bro. Mm. But I was gonna I, I, I was I was gonna I was gonna fuck the case off as well. I even stopped the taxi, mate, me and my mate, and it was gonna fuck the case off, bro. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had butterflies in my belly. Mm. Yeah, yeah, pure set butterflies. He was going, fuck it off, fuck it off. I was in the charge. If I'd have said I'd fuck it off, he wouldn't have said nothing. Yeah. He's one of them. What? So you was in charge? Yeah, obviously, mate. If I'd have said, mate, you know what I mean, throwing it now, he would have just gone along with it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was like, now he was here in my stomach, mate, on the way to the airport in the sector. No, it, the, 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 you know what I mean, the feeling, the butterflies, you know something's going on yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, this 86 cents or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Got there. Not a soul in the airport, bro. Not a soul. So I don't. And a Sunday. Not a soul. Nah, not a soul, bro. <laughs> yeah? Going straight to the finger, mate. Now, I, now yeah, I've stood up. I've stood up like that, yeah? yeah. Right? Stood straight up. And I've gone like that, look, mate. Oh, and I went, I want my bags wrapped, you know, and just some wrapping, wrapping shit and that, mate, you know what I mean? Just wrapping up, mate, and that, mate, you know, my case, wrapping up and that, you know, trying to blend it and that. Got there, mate, just checked it and all that, they've gone, yeah, sweet, next for it, mate. Just look beside me, boom, big gold badge, yeah. Some fucking scary fucking, scary love it looking motherfucker, mate, with a big gold badge like that, mate. Boom, in a leather jacket, never forget the leather jacket, mate. I could smell the leather, mate, off his jacket, bro. You know, creasing, like that, mate, you know what I mean, big gold badge like that. Yeah. He went, come this way. And that, mate, I thought it was part and parcel of it, mate, sweet then. I went, yeah, sweet, mate, cocky as fuck, mate. I didn't even know the, I didn't even know the combination, mate, because it, 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 I didn't even know what was in there. You know, just pure clothes was in there and everything else. Yeah. I mean, women, I was just clothes and shit like that, yeah? All right, I've got my, my luggage, my hand luggage, what I came with me for the ten days, yeah? As, 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 as they've gone like that, come here, they've gone like that, what's the code? Like that. So I've bent down and gone, one, two, three, four, yeah? Mm. And, and the slides, boom, it's opened. <laughs> yeah? I ain't got a clue what this code is. Yeah? Just done that on the off chance, you have to do something. Now, <laughs> they're busting it open now, they've got the hammers out and everything ready in front of me. Mm. They went, just, just, just open it then. So I've just done that, one, two, three, four, boom, opened. They've gone, yeah? Like that, mate. They can't see nothing, they're going like that, mate. Next minute, mate, hammer and chisel out. Boom, boom, drill out, boom. Powder come all over. Powder come all over the gaff, mate. Even dash for the little line of it, quick time, mate, bro, mate. <laughs> Got to restrain to fucking all that. Really, bro. Do you know what I mean? Wow. And that's just nothing. That's just, do you know what I mean? That's just when we got nicked, that. That's just when we got nicked. And, 
You know what I mean? There's a lot to tell. There's a, there's a, how, long there's a, how long did we get? Mate? We got over there. We got 18 years between me and my mate over there. 18 years, bro. I was banged up in Peru, South America, um, and there was a Jenny jail called Sarita Colonia, Cayo, yeah. Lima, Peru. Yeah. yeah. The jungle, should I say? <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's the jungle, man. It's you know what I mean? Jungle, yeah. yeah, the jungle. Right, so we was in there and that, mate. Yeah, first day. Yeah, first day got there. You know what I mean? And chaos going on, chaos. And I mean, like, confused, mate. All the Canadians, just, just pure mad different languages, man. Loads of different people in there, all just speaking di different languages, man. Yeah. Loads of coke about everything, man. Loads of drugs, you know what I mean? There was cafes, Western Union inside the jail, the lot, mate. The Colombians had it on lockdown. The Colombians and the, and the, the Mexicans had it on lockdown. Yeah. And I mean lockdown, bro. Do you know what I mean? Cafes, Western Union, get your dough out, type of thing. Yeah. I'm looking for my bed like that, mate. I'm thinking, where's my cell and all that? I'm bouncing in there thinking, where's my cell and all that, mate? Do you know what I mean? Did you go to the induction wing? Nah, there's no induction wing, mate. It's just I got through in a room about like, like, like a living room, a normal living room of a council house, yeah? And it was just pure people in there. There's about 40 man in there, 50 man in there, mate. Yeah. All looking at me. Inglaterra! Inglaterra, we're murder! Do you know what I mean? I'm like, what the fuck's that mean, mate? But now. Thank you for watching Dexter's story. We're now going to talk a little bit about it. Please do not forget to subscribe if you have enjoyed it. Thank you. Dexter. He's the funny character. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 it was like watching an episode of Banged Up, Banged Up Abroad. It is Banged Up Abroad. But like fast forwarded. You know like when you can fast forward the sound? Yeah. Like twice. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that video should have been at least an hour long, but he's managed to speak that quick. He got it into half an hour. So, Dexter grew up um, on a council estate mm. and says things were hard, but there was like a family, family mm. mentality to it. Like you all, I can't remember the phrase he used, was it you all eat together or? Yeah, like, yeah you support each other. Yeah. If but one of you's it, got something, you've all got it. It is true. I think... Council to stay, people must stick up together. I 100% agree with you. Then, nah, for example, where are you from? Alright, we had one good set of neighbours. <laughs> they were very sweet. We smashed their greenhouse so many times and they still liked us. But do you know what I mean? 100%, I wouldn't be able to name the other people on the street. Exactly. Oh, actually, no, no that's a lie. There was another lady that lived like two doors down Min, she was great. <laughs> she was crazy, but she was great. She used to let me walk her dog, Blackie. I... I think you're right. Of course I'm right. More like... I don't know the right word, because I don't want to say upper class streets, because I'm not saying council or lower class. No, but it, it's... but... It, Working it, class. But like, upper class... Upper class people, I feel, and I might be generalising here, and I don't want to judge either way, Yeah. because we don't judge people that haven't got much, so why should we judge people that have got a lot? But I think they do maybe tend to be quite selfish and keep themselves to themselves. Yeah. They're I don't not, know. Like, I know I'm generalising, but I don't feel like there's definitely not that family mentality. No, not. At all. Sometimes it's good. Mm. Sometimes it's not. I can't imagine how it's good. Well, if you don't want no trouble with your neighbours, man, right, because not everyone's good. No. So some people don't like to open that door. They don't like to open the door. It's not because it's not because they don't want to get to know them. Because they don't want the people. Some people they don't just like problems. I just feel like that must be so lonely. Like, yeah. I love it. I can just go, if I'm like making a recipe and I've forgotten to buy something, I just go knock on Rachel's door. Be like, have you got this? Yeah. I do it all the time. Have you got this battery? Have you got this? <laughs> can I borrow that? <laughs> but like, imagine never going to do that. Mm. But then I guess well, we I'm... live very close together. Whereas if you were, had maybe had more money, you would be living in separate houses further apart. No. Not necessary. 
I think sometimes it's best to be lonely than to have people that bring you a problem. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with you with that. Thank you very much. No company is better than bad company. Yeah. Yeah. But that is totally different <laughs> than deliberately shutting yourself off from people. Well, you do that deliberately because you don't want to mix with other people. Because you don't know them, you don't want them. <laughs> it's too antisocial. <laughs> it's, not, it's not being antisocial. It's not That's being anti like the definition of antisocial. Well, because you don't like to socialise with people. Yeah, no, antisocial. No, it's, not, it's not that you don't like to socialise with people, you just don't have problems. But not every person's a problem. Well, 85% of people are problems, <laughs> so... Still 50% <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so he... got into selling drugs after school, age 16. That's too young. And viewed it... Yeah, but I, I understand how this is done. The view of, like, fast money, and it is fast money. Yeah. And who do you think is to blame for that? Because this is what I was thinking when I was watching this, because it's up for debate so much, isn't it? Like, when they try and ban, like, drill music and stuff like that. And I have always been the person that's been like, nah, nah, nah. like, that's pathetic, like, it's just music. But... I don't know. This, no, this has nothing to do with music. No, but no, 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 no. But the view of where it comes from, the view that it's fast money, I think is a variety of influences, and I think some of it is some rap music. What, what about the movies? Movies, and I think seeing dealers pull up in flashy cars, but like they've got nice watches, nice clothes. Who I don't know how to, I feel like I say this a lot, I don't know how to get my point across in the right words. Take your time. Okay. I think there is a variety of factors that go into making selling drugs look glamorous. Yeah. I think a small minority of music is some of it. Yeah. I would not say that's to blame, because mm. I think it's still got to be in the person that does it themselves. Yeah. Because I like that kind of music. Mm. I do not go around shooting, stabbing, selling drugs. Yeah. Like, you can listen to that music and not want to do that stuff mm. but I do think it sometimes helps glamorise it yeah, it sometimes yeah. helps make it look more glamorous no, than the reality it, is some, some really, yeah, that's the does, point I was yeah, trying to make it, it, it does that's, cause that's, the, that's the point I was trying to make is how sometimes those it, variety of things can make it look appealing as fast money it, it is fast money it is fast money but, but I'd sometimes say, they gloss over the bad yeah, side well, of they, it. They won't talk about the prison time. Or the losses you the take. Losses or... you, they don't talk about it. No. You know, they don't. So. Because as much as... I think it's the parent. Mm. Yeah, I personally think the parent. If you're not able to see what your kids are doing, you fail. If you can't communicate with your kids, that level. I get you. I think you felt. I understand what you're saying mm. and I understand the point you're making. Yeah. But. <laughs> okay, <laughs> as a 16 year old boy, yeah. would your mum have been happy and proud of all the things you were doing? Uh, no. And, but do you think she failed in not stopping you? No, 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 no. But I've always been open with my mum, whatever the things I was doing. Mm. That's and I'm, I'm guessing saying. she openly told you back that she wasn't. Yeah, she wasn't. Yes. Yeah. Happy with it. She, she wasn't. Yeah. So do you think she failed by stopping, not stopping you? That's just my question. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But do you think she could have stopped you? Like, do you think Dexter's mum or dad could have stopped him? Mm. That's. It's not like he's 9 or 10, he's 16. He's 16. If they put their foot down, he can just be like, well, I'm moving out. Okay, but that's not the problem. The problem is, why did he start selling it? Because it appealed to him as fast money. No, because when you're that, when you're that age, mm. what do you need money for? New trainers, new tracksuit, 
Mm. What else? Your new phone. But if you want that type of money, home life. Yeah. But for all we know, his mum could have been working three jobs just to keep a roof over their head and food. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what's all Sarah. She could have been going out every weekend and spending money on cigarettes and alcohol. You don't know. But equally, she could have been. Mm. Like I think, like a lot of. A lot of guys that get into money, get into selling drugs for money, mm. do it because they want those things, like you said. But I don't think their parents not providing those things should be enough. As in, the parents, are, most of them are probably trying their best to provide a roof over their head and food yeah. and pay the bills. Yeah. Like life is hard, and I think sometimes as a sixteen-year-old, you don't see that, you don't appreciate no, you don't, it. You, don't, you can't see it. You, don't you have just no think, why aren't I getting that stuff? Yeah. You, you just, don't see your mum or dad struggling to pay the bills. No. Yeah. You know, we don't see that. And then equally, like he's probably left school at sixteen with maybe hardly any. GCSEs or qualifications, he's not gone to college. Yeah. What else is he going to do? Get a minimum wage job. No, you wanted the first one. Exactly. I think it's, there's no one to blame but himself. But then do you think parents that like install that in this, in that, this generation? Like I know obviously Dexter is not this generation, as in like he's not a youngster now. Mm. But the the feeling that if you want something you should be able to have it like why can't you? No. No. I don't think there's generations about that. Do you not? No. I just feel like so much stuff gets taken for granted. Oh, that does. you feel you should have that. Yeah. Like if you look at like our parents, they probably well, I'm not even sure mobile phones were around. <laughs> like <coughs> you now feel like it's a given you should have a phone. Yeah. And like it shouldn't I feel like it probably shouldn't be viewed like that, like it should be a luxury. No. Yeah. Like if you're not paying for it yourself, you should consider it a luxury. If you're paying for it yourself, feel free to do what you want with your own money. And if they can't get that, that's how they go to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then, then Dexter goes to South America. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he literally admits himself that it is being brainwashed. But now we can see it's been brainwashed at the but time at the time you can't you can't see it because what people tell you like yeah I just, it's easy it's no one easy. ever gets caught we do no this all the time yeah we got someone that work inside you know mm -hmm. you're going on holiday for 10 days free holiday free holiday a lot of cash good time 10, ten Colombian bird female. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he must have stood out like a sore thumb. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who what recruited him or who thought he would get back <laughs> through security without looking obvious. Yeah. But he had that feeling. So you should always listen to your gut instincts. They saved your life last night. <laughs> You should listen to your gut. He should have listened to his gut. Yeah. But then when you got to that point, he couldn't really back out. You can't. And there's a lot of pressure as well. With big people, people you do not want to mess no, with. No, you don't want to mess up with them. But do you know what annoys me? Well, not annoy... Yeah, annoys me. These people that, like, recruit them, they know what they're doing. They know that the majority of the time they're setting them up to fail. Maybe not the majority of the time, because I bet a lot does get through. But they definitely, well, they, they are brainwashing it, like it's literally like a cult. They're making them feel special, making them feel like you can do this. Yeah. And they're not telling them the true risks of it. No, basically they show you that lifestyle. Mm. That you do it. But then, like, I think this is the bit what gets people as well. 
like obviously it's different in Dexter's case because he got caught first time. Mm. But I think so many of the people that are successful yeah. and get through, then just do it again and again and again until they do eventually get caught. Yeah, because... Do you think you've got a way of, like, easy I, money? I think that's like kind of human nature. Keep pushing and pushing. No, I, I just think, and some people are greedy as well, because it's easy money. Is that? You're not doing it. You're going on holiday and literally getting paid for it. Yeah. But you are risking your freedom. Oh, like this. Like this stuff. Mm. So he ended up getting 18 years between him and his friends. Yeah. To be honest with you, I would not want to be in South American prison. I think he makes quite light of it. No, because he had money. His family had money. We said seven grand. Seven pounds, but it tra it made when you like the switch the currency, it made it to seven thousand of their dollars. But it was seven pound English money. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I don't think his family even had like necessarily money, mm. but even like having like twenty quid yeah. would have been a fortune over there. Not a fortune, but it would be alright for him. It'd be like twenty grand. Yeah. That definitely made his experience easier. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem to have scuffed him in any way. No, he's definitely not going to do it again. No, 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 but I mean, like, the prison experience doesn't seem to have, like, mentally traumatised him. I think Bobby's blocking it. Do you think? Yeah. Because watching that and yeah. listening that, it literally sounds like one big party. Chicken, drugs, like... A woman. Was it? No. Yeah. In the prison? Yeah. How did you manage that? South America. Some prison you're allowed to you're allowed to bring your family allowed to come to your cell. I watch a documentary. Yeah. They're allowed to come in your cell and spend some quality time. That's crazy. It's not crazy, that's that's okay. <laughs> they spend time with your family. You're just thinking straight away like um Sex, that's what you're thinking. <laughs> no, it's not. That's what you're no, thinking. It actually wasn't. You read my mind oh, wrong for once. Oh, wow. That's what you were thinking. It wasn't. <laughs> it honestly, I swear to God. No, I was just thinking you could. It wasn't. It wasn't. I was just thinking you could literally smuggle anything in. Yeah. They go gone gun inside mm -hmm. the prison. That's what I was thinking, actually. So, the prisoner controlled the jail, mm. not the officers. The officer's job is make sure no one escape. But apart from that, they just apart from the jail that, in itself. Yeah. He was, he was going to the airport and he was taking drugs at the same time. Like sniffing like. Mm -hmm. And that did not help. I imagine that helps any situation, especially that situation. No, no. <laughs> they go to the airport, it was like no one was there. That was a red flag. <coughs> <coughs> no one no one was in the airport. No one was in. Even if the airport had been full, like I can imagine that he would have stuck out like a sore thumb. <laughs> Come on. He what? said it himself. Well, because of Ninja. And he's not exactly quiet, is he? <laughs> <laughs> not exactly quiet. Yeah. But he's an experience that I will not want to do. No. Mm -mm. Not I you. wouldn't survive it. No. I'll cry. not a joke. Oh I know, I'd be dead. South I would American be like the bottom prison. of the South chain. South American prison is not a joke. I know. I'd be bottom They've of the chain. They've got fire on their side. Knife, everything. You get killed for for food. But then, like you said, don't do and I think that's going to put you in South yeah. American prison. But then again, you don't 
look at that guy who got arrested in the South, he got sentenced 25 years for, have you seen it? In Saudi, he got um, sentenced 25 years for CP, CDP oil. Uh, <coughs> but again, hmm? but again, but again, what? Well, we must have known that was a bad idea. Don't go to buy. No, yeah, <laughs> if you have. But then again, it's made left in his car. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's the the, the oh, every, every, hate that friend. That no, that excuses everyone used it. Oh. Oh, so his mate didn't actually. Even... I don't know. I'm not saying it. I don't know much about this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Yep. What are you looking at me for? I think if you can't, but especially when you go like Dubai or something, like you know how strict they are. Like, if you go in somewhere, like with Dexter going to South America, like, it's slightly different in Dexter's case because I do think he was brainwashed a bit. Like, I don't think okay, he was a brainwashed. Lot. He definitely didn't think the risks through. No. Otherwise, he'd never have done it, I don't think. But at the end of the day, but before you they have take, to face up if you get caught. Yeah, but before they take you there, they take you to this expensive hotel. Mm -hmm. Shopping. Well, look at even when he was saying about being in the Arndale and the guy just being like, take it with the watches. Yeah. Like, imagine coming from the background in life that Dex has come from mm. to someone just handing him a 150 grand watch. Yeah. Like, these people know what they're doing. Oh, yeah, the yeah. same way that cult leaders know what they're they doing. Groom, they pick they're the grooming them. Yeah. They pick the right people. So, who's the victim here? Dexter. 100%. I don't think anyone could say otherwise. Mm. Like, he is a victim in it. I think his family are the victims. Mm. Yeah. Because... Who was sending them the money? Why did they have to suffer? Because he made a poor decision. Because that's the kid, you never give up on your kid. You don't need, uh, exactly, I totally agree with you. But I'm just saying, they're the victim. But he is also a victim. Yeah. But then again, no one forced him. He was brainwashed. No one forced him. Have you ever been brainwashed? All the time, I'm gullible. <laughs> you can literally <laughs> tell me anything. <laughs> We had like a lunch and learn thing on work on Thursday, which is basically where you go up and like listen to a rep and they try and sell stuff, but they provide free lunch. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going up because I fall for it every time. <laughs> I was like, someone bring me down a sandwich because I still want the lunch, but I don't want the learn part. Because <laughs> I'm literally, you can sell me anything. Um, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.